Once we have set up our basins, clarifiers, and the modeling setup, and done our oxygen analysis, we're ready to look at what's going to happen with our solids production. Again, what we have to do is we're going to follow the menu from the top to the bottom. The first step is to, to determine our solids production coefficients. This is going to tell us how many pounds of uh, solids we produce based on our history given uh, certain loadings, uh, how much VOD we're removing from the system, and what's going on in our solids production. So again, the first step is determine our solids production coefficients. We come in here, we want to say, well, how many basins are we going to be using? In this case, again, I'm going to say we're going to be using all four basins. And I'm going to analyze June of 2013. So I type in June 1st through June 30th. And I'm going to go ahead and click Calc Coefficients and Plot. So what this does is it comes up and uses a regression analysis to come up with the solids yield coefficient and then and the endogenous decay coefficient, which I have difficulty saying, but basically what it's doing again is saying, okay, how much pounds of solids are we going to produce given how much BOD or organic material we remove? And what is our endogenous decay coefficient, which is a small effect, which is uh, based on the endogenous respiration within our mixed liquor, uh, how much solids we lose that way. The correlation coefficient of 0.7264 shown here is a very good correlation, which means we can trust that this is a pretty good uh, analysis. So I'm going to go ahead and save these coefficients, and those coefficients, again, are going to be used later in the program to calculate what we're going to produce given certain conditions in the plant. So I go ahead and click yes. It's going to display the graph. And again, the line essentially goes through very close to a lot of our pairs of SRTs and F to M ratios. So therefore, that's why the coefficient of correlation is so good. Once I've produced my coefficients, I'm now ready to analyze my data. So what I do is I go into modeling and I'm gonna generate some solids production curves. So first what I wanna look at is production as a function of applied load. So again, we're gonna run all four basins and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my operating conditions. So I'm going to say my influent organic, my BOD, you know, is somewhere between, let's say, 250 and 350. Uh, my effluent goes anywhere from 3 to, let's say, 20. And I want to operate my mixed liquor at 2400. And I can plot and see, based on, at a mixed liquor of 2400, how much, and given certain organic loads, how much solids I'm going to produce. So again, reading this graph, I'll pick the easy number. If our in, in if our influent DOD load or our organic load is 7,000 pounds, given our current operating conditions, we're going to produce about 3,000 pounds of uh, solids. So now I can play this game and say, well, I want to run a mixed liquor of 3,500, given the same operating conditions, and I can see what happens. So now I'm going to go in here at 7,000 organic load, and I'm going to produce uh, 2,400 pounds of uh, solids. Now, I can really do the, the same graph, but instead of just keeping changing the mixed liquor, I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to do it based on SRT. So I'm going to say I'm going to look at all four basins, and I'm going to say, well, what if I change my SRT, and I want to round it from, let's say, 30 days to 60 days. And again, I'm going to do a flow rate of this. My influent organic is going to average about uh, 250. My estimated effluent organic is 10, and the basin temperature is 20. I'm going to go ahead and plot. And again, given this solids retention times, I'm going to be able to predict what my solids production is going to be given certain organic loads. I can run this graph over and over again and maybe print out certain organic loads that I want to look at and put them up on the wall so everybody can refer to this. Again, looking at the oxygen analysis that we've done earlier, we're going to be able to tell what kind of solids that we're producing if we want to play a what-if game with our SRT or our mixed liquor suspended solids. For solids production, that's, uh, that's it. The next thing we're going to do is look at given certain uh, loadings 
certain solids production, can our clarifiers handle the load that we're going to send then or the solids that we're going to send to the clarifiers? Thank you.